Hello guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. In this video, I will be explaining how we can save a uh, machine learning model to a file. So, like uh, you, like the purpose of this, you know, uh, is saving, the purpose of saving the model to your file is, you know, uh, you have uh, your model ready. You created a model, your model is ready for predictions. Okay, so now you want to share this model to your friend, your colleague and you want him to st uh, start uh, predicting directly without uh, he, you don't want him to uh, perform all the operations uh, data exploration data training um, uh, and all uh, by your friend so you, you just want him to start predicting okay so for this purpose i'll be using i'll be following two approaches one is using pickle module another one using joblib module okay so to demonstrate this concept, I'll be creating one simple logistic regression model. So which can predict if a person of certain age will buy an insurance or not. Okay. So for uh, as a first step, I'll be importing all my uh, all the required modules. Okay. And you know in the second step, and I am reading my uh, data uh, is uh, as data uh, using a pandas. Okay. Okay. So we can see here we have two columns. One is age, another one is bought insurance. Age is my feature column, bought insurance is my target column. And in the next step, I am splitting my data set into train and test data. And also you can see here, we, I used random state as 42. You can use any number here. So the purpose of this random state is, uh, is for you know, reproducibility purpose. You run the same code, uh, uh, then you will get the same results. Okay, yeah. So in the next step, I am instantiating logistic regression object and assigning to a model variable. So in the next step, I am fitting my model on train data. Okay. Yeah. So now our model is ready. So let's just go and save this model into a file. Then we'll load that uh, saved file, uh, load that uh, saved model and then start predicting and just do some operation on top of it. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So this is approach one. So for that, you know, I need to import pickle model as pkl. So to save this model into a file, you need to open a file connection. Open with model pickle, and you know, uh, you need to open the connection in a right binary format. guys uh, this is my first youtube video you know uh, like there are any mistakes you know uh, yeah please suggest me yeah so i'm just running this yes okay so we got some error so error is file must be a bright attribute Okay, so I don't need to pass the file name, I need to pass the file itself. Yes. So let's just open my directory and see if the file is created or not. Yeah, our file has got created. Uh, okay, I'll be opening this file in a notepad and see if what's the data inside. Oh, we have uh, some uh, non-readable uh, text inside this file. So we don't need to worry, we just need to directly open this, uh, load this file again back to the environment and then start predicting. Yes. I'm closing this file okay okay so again I need to open a file connection so I'll take this piece of code so I need to open the file now in the read binary format okay so let's just assign this to a variable okay okay so we loaded the uh, model again back to the environment and let's just predict with this model we got uh, three responses one zero uh, one so let's just see what's inside the test data so we have 62 and 29 and 61 edges so 69 he will buy an insurance so and uh, 29 he is not buying an insurance 31 he will he will buy an insurance okay so so the saved model uh, is uh, when you when you saved model when you read it back 
start behaving in a, behaving in a same way as earlier so same way as this model the original one so it it will also it will behave in the same as that its the state is not changed that's our uh, main intention here so now let's just go ahead and then uh, try a second approach so job lib so you will be thinking you know uh, why we are having a second approach as we have a first approach pickle so why will you have a second approach the re the documentation says if your data is uh, data uh, is huge and your model have uh, like uh, so many uh, numpy arrays then they are recommending to use uh, joblib so i don't have as of now i don't have a bigger data set and uh, no bigger model okay uh, so i'll be just uh, showing that this thing uh, doing this uh, approach with this uh, with, the, with the whatever the data set available with me okay so if you have a bigger data set you know you just go ahead and then try uh, this job list job list on top of that okay so do some exercise okay until unless you practice you won't be uh, remembering everything so i'm importing job list as jbl and for that uh, no to save this file to the model right you don't need to open a file connection in job list uh, dump so i'm saving that model itself model yes so file is saved let's just open the directory so yes our file is open so this we all file also will have a same non readable uh, content only so i am just going and uh, like uh, loading that uh, saved model again okay So I'm saving this uh, to a variable. Yes, and we'll predict. Okay, we got the same response. So we got the same response when we used the uh, pickle uh, module, and we got the same response, and used the job lib also. so this means you know the state of uh, model is not changing uh, when you save the file and read uh, read back okay so yeah that's all for this video like uh, do uh, try this uh, like code with your, in your system okay then only you will remember uh, like for long time so i'll be sharing this uh, notepad uh, this uh, jupiter note uh, notebook uh, is like uh, Like I'll be for uploading it to my checking it checking in into my Git and I'll be putting a link in the description box. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, this is my first video. If there are any suggestions, please give it in the comment box. Yes. Yeah. See you soon. I'll be making some more videos soon and I'll be uploading. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you one and all.